This segment is sponsored by Martin Supermarkets. March is National Nutrition Month, a month dedicated to making informed food choices and developing healthy eating habits. Here's a look at some of the healthy meal option ideas you can do for Martin's Nutritionist. Take a look. Well, I am back in the Martin's Test Kitchen with Kristen St. Clair, who's a registered dietitian here at Martin's. Yes. And March is? National Nutrition Month. So okay. it's kind of my, my month, right? It is your month. <laughs> you have your own month. I do. Oh my gosh, you've arrived. Well, we're talking a little um, healthy but mm -hmm. super yummy dish today. So tell me all about yes. it. Yes, so National Nutrition Month is just a month to focus on a variety of healthy foods, meal planning, and just provide assistance to our customers in whatever fashion they need with meal planning. And um, this year's theme is celebrate a world of flavors. Um, so if you haven't you know, stepped outside and tried different ethnic flavors and so forth, this might be a good opportunity sure. to do so. And we are sharing a ton of recipes all month long for those ethnic flavors, but just also super simple, which we all want, right? Right, easy and simple and tasty. Yes. So we're gonna do some stuffed peppers today. Yes, so I'm doing an Italian flair, so Italian stuffed peppers. Awesome. Um, there's a lot of recipes out there. You could do a Mexican flair and so sure. forth, but we're gonna do Italian based. Um, so right here in my skillet, I started with some Italian turkey or chicken sausage, excuse me. Chicken's just a little bit leaner, of course. Um, and I just removed the casing from it and kind of just diced it up and I'm just heating it up in the pan. I did add a little bit of Italian seasoning extra, some garlic, and then just a dash of crushed red pepper. If you like things spicy, add more. Sure. Just it's more of like your, just to a taste, right? To mm -hmm. your taste, no, no real recipe as far as the measurement. Goes. Yeah, and you can see the nice uh, green and uh, red bell peppers in the turkey sausage here. It is a pre-cooked item, so we don't even have to cook it that long, just kind of browning it, mixing like those flavors said, together. Easy. And we're gonna throw that in with some rice. Brown rice, yep. So if you've cooked earlier in the week and made a rice dish, just make extra so you have so it ready. brown rice versus white rice, is it better for you? It is a whole grain, so you have a little bit more fiber to it. Okay. And we're gonna add in um, some diced tomatoes. I we shop for the oh. no added salt option. We know our sausage has some of that salt in it already. This smells we don't need so it. good, Kristen. Oh my gosh. So we're just it mixing it all up. I'm going to also add in some Parmesan cheese. Who doesn't like cheese, right? Who? who? <laughs> I wouldn't know those people. Right? Okay. And then once you feel like you have that good and mixed, I have three bell peppers over there that are have been you know sliced and washed, and you're just going to kind of cleaned them. out, right? Now, so tell me, there's no green pepper here. Is that on purpose? I picked my flavors. I find the red, orange, and yellow are a little bit sweeter than the green, so I always yeah. opt for those. But we do have a little bit of that green diced in that turkey sauce. I, I feel sausage, the same so. way. I just didn't know if there was a reason. It, it, these ones are sweeter ones. So okay, kind cool. of personal preference there, but. All right, and so, and you know, you can cut these any way you like, right? Mm -hmm. kind of, yeah. yeah, you could always keep them whole too and stuff them Which from a lot the top of down. Do. Um, probably would take a little bit longer to cook, of course. You want to make sure your bell pepper kind of gets nice and soft and so forth, but. And there's a little water or something in the bottom yes. of this dish. What's that about? Just a dash of water at the bottom will help in the cooking process. So okay. just make sure you add that before you throw it in the oven. All right, and then we're going to put these in the oven. Yes. And then the magic of television, <laughs> boing, we're going to come right yeah. back to us. Oh, they smell so good. We always say that, right? It's like smell a vision or something. Yes. But, oh, look at that. So we have that okay. cheese getting nice and crispy oh, on top. It does. Um, and they are just really, what a beautiful place setting, right? I mean, it's just so colorful. Yeah. And um, it smells so good. And, you know, I think as a kid, I just ate the center out. <laughs> but as that's I've gotten okay, older, I've, I've enjoyed the pepper as well. Yeah. Yeah, if your kids don't want the outside, that's okay, because again, we have that mixed um, bell pepper in the sausage, yeah, right. and they might not even know. Let's top with some fresh basil. Oh, and then you just kind of do that. There we go. And that's just for a little flavor mm -hmm. and a little color and a oh, little yeah. green. Look how pretty that is. Awesome. Yeah. Well, that smells really good. But, you know, the... You know, usually we have a salad before we have the main course. We've got a kind of a special salad today. One of my favorites, especially um, spring, summertime, is that caprese tomato mm -hmm. mozzarella salad. So it's just um, grape or cherry tomatoes sliced in half, our fresh mozzarella balls, again, some basil, and then my favorite topper is the balsamic glaze, which I'm gonna let you drizzle <coughs> right on top. Now, do you have a olive oil or anything in there? I did not add any. You could. So it's just those, mm -hmm, those just three, three things? And then, yep. of course, the balsamic, does make it tasty, but also it just makes so, it pretty, so pretty yes. right? Um, I do love that. So you have one of the wonderful things about Martin's is that there are so many things that you could just grab, go home, and kind of create these things 
from scratch, but with a little help. A little help. The sausage, <laughs> like I said, was pre-cooked. I grabbed this um, rice that cooks in the microwave in 90 seconds. You could always do on the stovetop rice, but we have adaptable recipes to meet your skill level, to meet your budget, to meet time, um, time right? right? So anything, we can mix and match. And I love that the peppers especially, you can make that, you know, if you're, if you prep for the week, you could mm -hmm. do that on Sunday and use the rice in a couple of different ways. So, yep. and the best part of all of this, that we come to you from the Martin's Test Kitchen and talk with you about the kind of recipes and the kind of ways that Martin's can help is that they have people, yes. not just products, but people like you, <laughs> uh, right, that can help us kind of navigate scary yeah. things when health things come up and we're like, oh, I'm not supposed to have X, Y, and Z, Kristen can help. Yeah. So where can we find out information about the kind of services that you provide? My program's called Eat Smart, Be Well. If you go to our website and find the Eat Smart, Be Well tab, it'll have my contact information. You can reach out by phone or email to connect with me on specific questions. We have a Ask um, the Dietitian submit box. So if you want to be behind the scenes, submit your question. I'll email you back. We don't even have to know who each other are, right? That's cool. <laughs> so. Well, I'm so well, congratulations on having your own month. Thank you. Right? And, <laughs> and eat smart, be well. I think that is a theme for all year, not just mm -hmm. this month. And you can make all of that possible at Martin's. Martin's Supermarkets, you can give them a call at 574-239-1800. Of course, you can always visit martins-supermarkets.com and find them on Facebook at Martin's Supermarket. They're also on Twitter.